Hey guys, so this is me from my vegetative state of life because, uh, yeah, we haven't really had a chance to relax this entire week. And I've got a clingy cat that's been clingy ever since we got back from the shelter. Ninja! Um, but I just wanted to come on here mostly to show you guys some craziness because obviously we know that Billiton flooded where we were. I didn't realize how actually flooded it was until I look at like two of these pre and post pictures. Um, and these are, these pictures from pre are after Helene. Um, well, one is like a week after Helene. The other is the day after Helene. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, it's crazy the difference between, uh, Helene versus Milton. Um, and then just kind of chilling out, um, the storm is still giving us some issues. Uh, Walmart, can't get any food from Walmart until like next Thursday. Uh, I'm trying to get some stuff for my sugar off of Amazon. Um, DoorDash isn't open. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my meds delivered. So Milton is still causing issues, but <clears throat> we are thankfully like, I'm not going to forget that we are one of the lucky ones. We have power. We only lost power for 12 hours. So thankfully the food we do have didn't spoil um, all my loved ones, all the, all the pets are okay. I'm just happy about that. Um, and our house is okay. Like, we were one of the very lucky ones, and I'm not going to forget that. But it is a little bit of, like, people who don't live in Florida maybe don't realize that the stress is not over just because the storm is over, even if everything is okay. Because then there's the, like, there's no gas in our town right now, period. There's zero gas. Um, so that's why there's no food because nothing, no trucks can get in. So, um, yeah, hopefully things will kind of smooth out, but I'm going to be eating a lot of sandwiches for the next couple of days and hopefully I don't run out of bread. <laughs> so, um, anyway, but I just want to show you guys a couple of pictures, like two pictures pre and post Milton, because it's crazy when you put that into perspective behind us, directly behind us is an abandoned golf course that closed during Irma. So this is not, there's not supposed to be any water here. Okay. There's a little Creek. And that's it. Like, there's not supposed to be water here. And it looks like a lake. So, um, I'll show you guys those pictures. And I'm just going to try and rest today because we've been through a hurricane. My friend is still in the hospital. And, like, everything is just... Every... October has just been a very interesting month. So, anyway, um, there's that. But uh, I hope you guys are doing good. And if you guys are living in Florida, I hope you guys are okay. Hope you have your power back. Your house is okay. Your family's okay. And, um... On the plus side, yesterday was the official end of hurricane season and the beginning of dry season. So hopefully Milton was the last hurrah and we get a break until hopefully longer than next year, but at least until next year.